Volkswagen has always been more than a car. It occupies a special place in German society. Volkswagen translates into the people's car, and it really is Germany and Europe's car for the masses. Every fourth car sold in Europe is from the VW Group. And it's been a global cultural icon. What is it? It's a 200-year-old Volkswagen. Wow, they really built these things, didn't they? And that's why the admission by the automaker that it was cheating on emission standards is so shocking. Volkswagen's heart is in Wolfsburg, a city built around the German automaker. It's home to its headquarters in Autostadt, or Auto City, one of Germany's largest tourist attractions. Volkswagen's roots go back to the 1930s, when Adolf Hitler, Chancellor of Germany at the time, and the Reich Association of the German Automobile Industry commissioned Ferdinand Porsche to design a Volkswagen or people's car. World War II interrupted production of the first Volkswagen Type 1, or Beetle cars. Mass production of the Beetle began in 1945. By the 1950s, Volkswagen began exporting overseas, primarily to the U.S. and South America. And as VW grew, more models were introduced. In 1972, VW produced its 15,000,034th Beetle. According to its makers, this made it the most produced automobile of all time, breaking the 45-year-old record set by the famous Model T Ford. In 1974, the production of the Golf began. It quickly became one of VW's best sellers. But the company also had bumps along the way. After a number of boom years, VW Group faced a worldwide decline in vehicle sales as consumers demanded more economical vehicles, and it faced tougher competition from Japanese manufacturers. But despite the slowdown, new models continued to be launched in the 1980s and 90s. Volkswagen also had its share of Hollywood exposure. And for some, VW was a fashion statement. The Beastie Boys' Mike D wore a Volkswagen emblem on his chain. And as they stormed onto the music scene in the late 1980s, many youngsters started stealing badges off people's VW cars. Today, the Wolfsburg plant is still the largest car factory under one roof in the world. 60% of the Wolfsburg workforce works there. And the company owns the local soccer team, which plays at the highest level in Europe. And what began 78 years ago as a project to churn out low-cost Beatles has evolved into a global empire that sells 10 million cars a year, produced at more than 100 factories from China to Chattanooga, Tennessee. 